Hey guys, welcome out to Dallas, Georgia. Uh, I'm gonna walk some of the floor plans over here. As you can see, uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice setting out here in Paulding County. Um, I'm gonna try to walk through some of these that are on construction. And actually, this street goes all the way around the corner and all the way to the back end. It's an established community, which means as you can see up here, houses that are already built. So the builder has come in and bought this whole track of land, getting permits for them and building these gorgeous, gorgeous houses. Uh, price points are pretty much gonna be in the fours and fives on these. Um, the one that I'm walking through now will be in the fours, unbelievably, um, as you see how much you get for your money. We're talking about a six bedroom floor plan with some amazing features that you have to see to believe. Um, so let's walk and see. Um, just kind of recently discovered this builder, and I think it's going to be an amazing opportunity. They do build in other uh, parts of Greater Atlanta, mostly. I think I've seen them in Villarica and McDonough, like Henry County. But I really, really would encourage you to um, consider this uh, community. I think it's in a great location. It puts you in close proximity to a uh, Hiram, uh, Ackworth, a Kennesaw, uh, Powder Springs, a Marietta. Um, so I think, you know, people that can't afford anymore, like the Cobb counties, but you still want to be in a really good area, I think this would, this would be it for you. So as you can see on this one, a lot of front brick, covered front porch as well. I'll walk in the front door and this one's now further along so you could kind of see post drywall what things look like so the one thing you'll notice when you first walk in it's a wow factor and i'll explain why number one you're going to see this dramatic two-story foyer with kind of a I wouldn't necessarily call it a loft up there, but like a little uh, overhang, almost like a catwalk where you, when we go up there, we'll describe what you can do to it. But look at the size of this wall, the window above the door. You could do so much with this area. You have an outlet here. So if you want to put a console table, again, I'm not sure if the camera does it justice, but it's a huge, huge uh, entranceway when you first come in. Go over here to the right, you have like a front home office. So imagine guys, you're gonna get a six bedroom house, still with a formal dining room, still with a home office. You'll see the kitchen and family room and the outside features are amazing. And you're gonna be in the fours. My people from LA, New York, Philly, uh, Chicago, Connecticut, you know, this would be a 900,000 to probably a $1.2 million house in a lot of parts of the country for this much square footage. You're talking about a six bedroom. So look at the size of this. I mean, you could do a build out, you know, on this wall. Notice the nice trim work up on top. You got the double windows and the glass doors that are being installed. You see the beautiful, um, these are either engineered hardwood or the redwood. I think these are engineered hardwood. Look at the size of this dining room, the coffered ceilings, Double windows, again, the wainscoting, probably a little bit more than a quarter up the wall. I'd say like one third up the wall. Again, the details in here. We'll obviously show the kitchen, but there's a cutaway right here, like a little hallway to, with a butler's pantry um, and a regular pantry, and then the kitchen to bring in your food. Come over this way. This is where you come in through your two car garage, which is nice and spacious. I think it comes with a garage door opener. Here's bedroom number one, a bedroom on the main level. It's a really nice size uh, for a secondary um, bedroom. As you can see, you probably put your bed here, a nice long dresser, flat screen TV. You have a door that connects from the hallway and the doorway in the bedroom. So you don't have to leave the bedroom if you're using this bedroom as a guest suite or whatever you wanna do. For the, so that person kind of has the element of their own bathroom. You see the tile going in. Look at the beautiful tile. It'll be granite countertops or cultured marble. Love this kind of brass gold. Um, got the tub shower. Toilet will go there and a the countertop. If you did it on the basement, my assumption would be this would be your staircase will be going down. Right now it's on a slab. 
you're going to save yourself probably anywhere between sixty and seventy thousand dollars if you don't have to do a basement. And with it being six bedrooms, I don't think you will have to unless you obviously are a buyer well into the fives and maybe even sixes. Here is your kitchenette area. You can see with the uh, chandelier and a beautiful laid out kitchen. This one's showing with the white countertops. I mean cabinets. Not sure what kind of countertops. They're probably going to be uh, granite or quartz. If you do an upgrade, there will be quartz. But I think granite is standard. The window over where your sink's going to be. You can see the sink going in. This view. This is where your dishwasher will be. Again, all this. Probably be backsplash. Uh, they usually put that at the very end. You have an island with an outlet. So you can put your KitchenAid mixer. You might be able to squeeze maybe two bar stools here as well. I want to really see it's it's more of a, you know, if you're cooking in the kitchen and somebody you're having a conversation with them, but you're really going to use this kitchenette area more so where the refrigerator will go more counter space, double ovens or the microwave and um, oven. I think there's going to be double ovens because I think there's going to be the microwave above or a vent hood. It depends on what they're putting in. looks like it's a gas community. You have a gas hookup right here for your cooktop. This is the butler's pantry I was telling you about. Added cabinet space. You could put your Keurig little coffee bar over here. Create a nice little space or a wine bar. We did that with ours. Um, look at the size of this pantry for your uh, canned goods, your oatmeals, your cereals, your sugars. And then this beautiful, beautiful family room. As you can see, it has the coffered ceilings. It's the tic-tac-toe in the ceiling. The ceiling fan. This beautiful mantle with the uh, Carrera marble around here and the outlet for TV. And you can set this room up obviously with the TV above it, but look at the size of this wall too. If you're a person that really likes build outs or an amazing entertainment center, you definitely can do it on this wall too and set up your um, couch that way. Or you could obviously set it up with the um, two, two nice long couches here or a sectional where I'm standing or sectional that way. But the real winner to me, and this is an amazing layout, right? Just on the first level, we've seen so much. Look at this covered back porch with a fireplace. You can see the outlet above the cable outlet. You get the brick around here. Guys, four hundreds. Are you kidding me? So you can put your grill out here if you want down the road if you want to extend that concrete patio that's not going to cost you a fortune got your hose bib right there it's kind of wet back here so i'm not going to be able to go too far deep but you can see side yards are really good again the brick on the back part of the fireplace an outdoor fireplace a covered back porch a covered front porch a home office formal family formal dining a nice size kitchen a bedroom downstairs. Whew. That's just on the first level. Let's go upstairs. Got your wood banisters, your raw iron. Again, this will all be stained. Probably be hardwoods on these stained hardwoods or carpet. But here's the area I was talking about. So this cobalt floor plan, they do it two ways. If you want it as a six bedroom or that's how it's permitted, this is going to be the six bedroom. Now imagine this wall not here and just being one big open space. That'll be a loft area. It turns into a five bedroom with a home office as opposed to the six bedroom. I kind of like it as a six bedroom and I'll show you why. Because number one, this beautiful view, you have a usable wall to work with here. So if you wanted to, you want a second area, you're going to do the home office downstairs. You want to do a nice little build out on this wall. For your kids, young kids, teenagers to have kind of an area, you can. Or you could put a chair here, a chair here, a little table with a lamp. That would be a nice kind of like reading area, conversation space. But again, looking down. And through that door is going to be your master bedroom. If you notice, three fireplaces on this total house. The master bedroom, the family room, and then the outside. Let's start walking bedrooms. Bedroom number two. Over here you can see the carpet is down. The double windows, the closet. So you can put your bed here, a nice little uh, TV stand, or you can put your flat screen TV there. 
the double windows. This is what's called a Jack and Jill bathroom, which means you don't have to step out into the hallway. Both bedrooms will have access to this bathroom. So you have the toilet, the tub shower. You can see the vanity with the sink, of course, a mirror and a light. This will be a third bedroom. So let's see. Well, you have a, a closet right here. Closet door, standard closet door. You could do this many different ways. You obviously could put a bed here with your flat screen. I think it's best probably to put it right here so that you could have your flat screen right there. A couple nightstands on each side. If you wanna do a stand up bureau because you don't have a ton of space, right? In that closet, you might wanna, so you could fold underwear and socks and t-shirts and stuff like that. And then you still have another wall to work with as well. That was better than number three. We come back into the hallway. Got a couple doors here for your linens and towels. Then we're gonna see bedroom four behind this wall, bedroom five, and then the master bedroom would be bedroom six. So as you can see, this is bedroom number four. Now again, without this wall, it becomes a big loft space. But look at the size of it. If you have somebody in a the household, they want a really nice size secondary bedroom with a walk-in closet and attached bathroom, this would be for them. However, if you don't need this space because you have five other bedrooms, Look at this huge wall to work with. Where I'm standing, you could do a row or two of movie theater seats. You could do a pool table. You could build out a bar area in any of these areas. You could do more build outs or desk area. And as you can see, it goes all, you know, where I'm standing is pretty much over the garage. To this huge room. Again, if you have um, a long-term I would say, you know, person staying with you, a family member, this would be a great huge room for them. You have the connecting bathroom door. You have the tub shower, the toilet, fully tiled. You probably have, again, cultural marble or granite, the light. We're connecting to bedroom number five, so it's another Jack and Jill. Again, great, great use of space. Double door closet here. And again, you could put your bed, if you want to, on this wall, dresser, flat screen TV, or you could do more of a full-size bed if you wanted to here dresser, flat screen TV, and create a whole sitting area. You know, you could picture a computer desk over there. You got another outlet. You could do um, some kind of cool build out right there on that wall, that little inlet there. I mean, there's so many different things. Air shelves, great use of space. You got a full washroom, and we're gonna show you where this goes through the master bedroom. That's a great feature, but a nice walk-in laundry room. And then here it is, double doors. This is your primary suite slash master bedroom. Has the fireplace. This one has got the hardwood floors in it. You have the uh, tray ceilings, the LED lights in the ceiling. And if you notice, all down this row, all covered, all with uh, fireplaces. I think that is either a standard feature or they're including it and charging you for it, but I think it's worth the investment. So of course, you could do it however you want. Probably put your bed right here, your flat screen TV, create like a little sitting area right here in front of your fireplace. You also have this wall to work with. You can do a nice stand up um, dresser. You're gonna have two closets in here. Here's number one, wraps around over here. Here is your uh, master bath. Look at the nice long double vanity sinks. The frosted glass, the soaking tub, the shower, which will either have frameless glass or the grass with a chrome trim. Toilet closet. And then your second walk-in closet is over here. It's a nice size. Again, due to California closets or closets by design, Ikea closet system. And when you have dirty clothes, it's attached right to your laundry room. So you put your, you know, your laundry baskets here. You could do cabinet build outs after the fact if you want. A six bedroom home, covered front, covered back porch. Get into it, guys. Get on the list. Great Homes ATL will represent you as always. Mark's Taurus signing off. Talk to you later.